Hey gang, welcome back to another video. Now as any haunter will tell you, budget is always a concern when starting any kind of project. So in this video, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite budget saving techniques on making fake hardware using hot glue. So let's get into it. The first thing we need are some pieces of hardware to make copies of. I chose a few different styles from my local hardware store and prepped them by removing the threaded parts with a hacksaw so that they'd lay flat in our silicone mold. I'm also going to be using these silver colored cosplay sticks from Surebonder. The last thing I'll need will be my glue gun with a detailed tip to help make sure that the glue gets into all of the recesses of our mold. And speaking of our mold, I'm going to be using this old soup container as a mold box, but I'll need to trim it down for a more accessible size. So I grabbed my 123 block and a permanent marker and drew a cut line around the container. Then I'll use a razor blade to cut along that line. With the mold box cut, it's time to set all our hardware in place. I'll be applying a small amount of hot glue to each piece to secure it to the mold box, making sure to leave space around each piece for the silicone. Now, because I'm terrible at math, I'll be using a two-part silicone that's mixed in equal amounts and takes roughly 30 minutes to fully cure. That way, I don't have to wait very long before I can start cranking out copies of our hardware. And once I've got everything poured into my mixing cup, I can get to mixing them and then start filling my mold. While silicone doesn't usually stick to objects, it's still a good idea to apply some mold release spray. So I'll give it a quick spray and allow it a chance to dry and then I can get to pouring. The key to minimizing bubbles in your mold is to pour in as thin a strand as possible into the lowest part of your mold box. This allows the air bubbles that may be trapped in your silicone to pop on their way down and prevents new air bubbles from forming below the objects you're making a mold of. This silicone will also allow small air bubbles to rise to the surface before it sets up, but I like to help it along by squeezing it and giving it a few drops. Thirty minutes have passed, and it's time to demold and get to making some copies with our cosplay sticks. To get the best results, you want to make sure that your glue gun has come to temperature and that the glue flows easily with minimal effort when you squeeze the handle. Then it's just a matter of filling the mold. As with any mold, you'll find that there's good and bad ways to fill them, so it may take a few attempts, but you'll eventually find what gives you the best copies. And now for the moment of truth. Let's get these hot glue castings out of our custom mold. I'm really happy with how these turned out, although there was still a bit of the black hot glue left in the gun before I made these, and it's given the castings a marbled appearance. Regardless, the cosplay sticks are able to capture all the details in the mold, and it takes very little glue to make a lot of copies. Case in point, all of these parts came from one 74 cent cosplay stick. When you compare that to the $30 it would take to buy the same in real hardware, this method is a real no-brainer. 
So now you know my secret. And with a little upfront cost, you can make as many pieces of hot glue hardware as your heart desires. Special thank you to this week's video sponsor, Surebonder, and be sure to check out their links in the video description. Well, that's gonna do it for this one. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, but most importantly, go make something.